Have you ever wanted to be a superhero? Imagine if you had the power to withstand large amounts of radiation, or if you could preserve yourself for incredibly long amounts of time. Wouldn't it be awesome to withstand temperatures ranging from 300 degrees Fahrenheit to near absolute zero? Or maybe even to possibly withstand the pressures of the deepest trenches of the oceans. Some of the greatest superheroes can even survive in space without spacesuits. Well, if you have these powers, then I've got the perfect superhero name for you. The Tardigrade. These cute, tiny, and invisible creatures are also called water bears or moss piglets, and they are some of the coolest animals on Earth. The Tardigrade can endure extreme temperatures ranging from more than 100 degrees Celsius down to 196 degrees below zero. It can withstand the pressure of 6,000 atmospheres and can also tolerate being in outer space. And that's not all. Tardigrades have a unique gene that makes them remarkably tolerant to extreme radiation. They can be exposed to 5,000 grays of radiation and be just fine, while 5 to 10 grays is fatal to humans. Recently, scientists studied the tardigrade genome to find out the mechanism by which they are so tolerant to radiation. It was originally thought that tardigrades simply had a robust DNA repair mechanism to help them survive extreme radiation damage. This might still be the case, but researchers found a novel tardigrade protein that they named DSUP, which stands for Damage Suppressor, that wraps itself around the tardigrade DNA and acts as a radiation shield. To demonstrate that DSUP has protective properties, they took human kidney cells and inserted the DSUP gene into them. When they cultured those human DSUP cells and exposed them to radiation, they found that they experienced 40% less DNA damage than control cells. Tardigrades have another superpower. They are indestructible and are capable of surviving without water for years. Instead of dying from dehydration, they simply shut down. Just add water, and they plump back up and go about their business. For years, scientists have been trying to figure out how these microscopic creatures can survive years of extreme desiccation and near 100% water loss. It turns out, tardigrades produce a special type of bioglass that holds their essential proteins and molecules in a suspended state, allowing the tardigrades to effectively freeze themselves in time. Once water is reintroduced to the tardigrade, the glass melts and the cells are revived. After identifying the proteins, known as intrinsically disordered proteins, or IDPs, that are responsible for the production of this bioglass, Researchers have figured out that they could engineer other creatures to carry these proteins and survive desiccation themselves. When researchers inserted these genes into living yeast and bacteria, they found that IDPs protected them just like in the tardigrades. While yeast and bacteria aren't the most exciting organisms in the world, there are hints that these tardigrade proteins could work in larger, more complex creatures too. When the team decided to express the gene that controls the IDP's production in specially engineered human epithelial cells, they found that it produced bioglass upon desiccation. With recent experimentation showing that CRISPR gene editing tools might be safe to use in human cells and human embryos, perhaps one day we will be able to place these amazing genes from tardigrades into our own DNA and achieve the superhero status of our childhood dreams.